there is absolutely no need, no need to amend or revise our Constitution. Of the five Constitutions of the Philippines, which we, the Philippines ever had, the Malolos Constitution, the 1935 Constitution, the 1973 Constitution, the Freedom Constitution of 1986, and the 1987 Constitution, only the 1987 Constitution has remained unamended for nearly 31 years. On 2 February 2018, it would be exactly 31 years. I would not hesitate to assess, to assert, that our 1987 Constitution, even if imperfect, as none is perfect except God, is the best in the world, the best for our country and our people, not just of this generation, but even for generations yet unborn. It is the only Constitution I know of which is pro-God, pro-Filipino, pro-people, pro-life, pro-family, pro-marriage, pro-poor, pro-human rights, pro-women, pro-environment, among others. It contains sufficient provisions against abuse of power and guarantees people's active participation in governance, including the use of people power. It is the only constitution in the world which institutionalizes the doctrine that a public office is a public trust, meaning that all government officials and employees are servants of the people, thereby enshrining the servant leadership principle which Jesus Christ himself proclaimed. I have yet to see another constitution which could surpass our present constitution. When we voted on the final draft of the constitution at the plenary session on 12 October 1986, I ended my affirmative vote with these words. Modesty aside, into this constitution I have given my blood, towels, tears, and sweat. This is the constitution I'm willing to die for. On several occasions in the recent past, I reiterated this solemn pledge. Now I do so once more in this public hearing. I will until I breathe my last. I am now 82 years old. And I would like to say right now that a shift to federalism is a lethal experiment, a fatal leap, a plunge to death, and a leap to hell.